I'll be honest, I don't even know... I don't even know where to put my introduction. This music is... It's got me entranced. Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello here, and welcome to the very beginning of our Lords of the Fallen Let's Play. I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while, and I know several of you have too. Kind of being written as a Dark Souls light game, and we'll see just how true that is in, in just a little bit here. But I think it has a lot of potential. I think it looks great so far from what I've seen in the preview builds. But I haven't touched it. I have had no hands-on whatsoever. In fact, I have not made it past this menu except once just to configure my controller. So, here we are. The visuals right now are already stunning. The music has, has actually really brought me in. But let's go ahead and get started. So we have new game, options, credits, and exit game. We're probably going to skip those bottom two options for now, but let's take a quick look at the options before we get into a new character. Uh, we are going to fiddle with the sound a little bit, only because I can change some of this post-processing, but I would probably like music to take a bit of a back seat to some of the voice and the effects, but the effects I would like to take a back seat to the voices, if need be, so we'll leave voice at 100%. We have display. I do want to show subtitles because I think that's a good idea in case you guys want to read some of the dialogue. Everything else seems okay. Controllers, uh, we'll play with the camera sensitivity once we're in game. Absolutely not will we invert the Y axis. Not going to auto lock on. Let's uh, Controller layout we'll learn as we go. But let's take a quick look at the advanced settings. Just make sure we are, yeah, see I do want to actually refresh this. I don't know how well this is going to run on very high, but we'll uh, we'll give that a shot. I don't think that saved. Sure didn't. Oh, maybe it did. What is what is A? I'm trying to think of A in an Xbox controller. Oh no! See, that's back. Okay. Is it? I mean, I'm hitting apply. I don't know. Is that saving? Can I use my mouse? Oh, look at that. It automatically switches. That's interesting. So I guess that's saving because I just hit enter. Wow, that's actually pretty intuitive. That's smart. It actually knows whether you're using keyboard or controller in the menu. Alright, anyway. Let's go ahead and get into a new game. Shall we? So the way that this is going to work is I will cut out things like loading menus unless they have interesting lore information on them. I will cut out uh, runbacks if there's runbacks for you know corpse runs after I die, stuff like that. But for the most part, you're going to be seeing my unbridled and raw attempt at playing this game. Okay, so we already have choices. Magic type selection. We have brawling, deception, and solace. So I'm going to just kind of read through it real quick and see which one is for me. There's a clone. There's rage. Gives more damage. Removes energy restrictions. Yada, yada, yada. Deception. Solace. Let's go with brawling. I think that's a good idea. Equipment selection. So this is like your class selection. And we have... The warrior, rogue, or cleric. Probably rogue. I mean, that's what we usually play, right? What do we have? Steel daggers and a buckler? Yeah, we'll do that. Without a qualm, outlaws only act to benefit themselves. They are the most wanted men and in constant conflict with the law. Yeah, I like it. Let's go. Okay, so the loading menus have hints. The magic class manifests your playstyle. Warrior, for example, should care less about getting hit and more about hitting the opponent. And you can actually cycle through hints during the loading. Good for them. Using different runes on your gauntlet will noticeably change its behavior. Fallen God, 
creator and destroyer of worlds. Hear my vow. <laughs> Monstries ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. Okay, so here we are in game. First off, by the way, that opening cutscene gets me really, really excited for boss battles. And especially given the fact that all I've seen in the preview build is a lot of humanoid enemies and bosses, so the fact that we might go up against huge creatures like that is really, really exciting. Alright, the basics. Fighting a Rogar is quite a challenge. To learn the basics, approach the Marauder just ahead of you using the left stick. If you don't need help, just press B. Alright, well, let's... Let's get a little help real quick. First rule of combat is focus. To focus your senses, press right stick. Notice the two brackets that appear around the enemy's HP and a sound cue. Okay, so lock on. Oh, jeez. So, lock. Enemy behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered like the Marauder now. This is the perfect, or excuse me, this is the perfect time window for a strike. Try a fast hit with RB. Don't stop. All right, okay, and while holding it, press A. All right, I defeated, all right, <laughs> I defeated the enemy. The second rule of combat is management. The orange bar at the bottom is your energy, also known as stamina. Keep tracking it while fighting. Keep tracking it while fighting. <laughs> it regenerates, but most actions consume it. By the way, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Press A to start your adventure. Okay. Demonic weapons pack unlocked. I guess that's for pre-ordering, technically. So let's see, how's this? Okay, I unlocked a lot of stuff. 
Okay, so you have to hold the button to interact. Oh, oh! My! Oh, oh, oh! Take. Energy shard. Okay. Can I... Does anything break? Some stuff does break. And I can roll through. Alright. Is this a chest? Kind of looks like one. I guess it's more of a sarcophagus, huh? Probably nothing in there, then. Moving forward. Whoa! Okay. Alright, getting some XP. Talk to Kazlo. Well, I don't know where Kazlo is. Or who he is. Maybe it's the monk that came in with me. You've seen better days. Well, let's explore up top before heading down. Endure between loss and victory. I don't want to be quiet. You want to attack again? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. It is in me. And it is changing me. My skull. The bones are moving. Growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins. More like liquid darkness we have seen with others what happens next eyesight goes first then follows sanity brother william brother peter and i won't let the disease take us we will choose death before it chooses us oh, we got a rune an audio diary. Okay, so it looks like some of the lore is actually just going to be read to us, which is kind of cool. I don't necessarily mind that. Whoa! Alright, I'm going to... Can I get a backstab? Oh, what is happening? Oh! Oh, I'm being eaten. Okay. That was fast. I don't know about backstabs. I don't know if that's a thing. Fire resistant shard. Sealed rune. But I'm very close to death. Oh, there's definitely something hidden back here. What is it? Can I crouch? Oh, I can roll through. Neat. And we got... Empty bottle. Oh, that's why they hid that so well. Can't be just letting any vagabond come and steal their empty bottles. Okay, nothing else down here. Let's see, do I have potions? Oh, I sure do. Let's see, can I get behind you? I can get behind you. Ooh, brutal backstab. Kind of wonky with the camera angle because I was too close to the wall, it seems, but cool execution. There it is. Stab, stab, stab. Get shanked. Dear Father, another audio note. The fires on the horizon 
They are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something evil is happening. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here, in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please, be safe. Alright, so there's a magical portal upstairs that we'll go check out in a moment, but it says it opens once we've defeated a formidable enemy. I'm guessing they mean the area boss. Kind of looks like I'm fat rolling, even though I don't even know if that's an actual thing. Looks like everyone seems to drop loot. Another energy shard. Something I can't open. Giant key quest item. Nice. Alright, so I can sprint. So this does nothing. Okay, so it did say that I needed to... Maybe this is the formidable enemy. Okay, uh, do I have magic? Um... Do I have magic? No? Okay, maybe I have to earn my magic. Oh, he has combos. I don't know why I didn't think he would. Oh, you're... Oh! Did not want to roll towards him. He's not really letting me get behind him very well. I think I should heal. No? Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Oh, I can get a backstab on him. But it turned into a front stab. But I'll take that as well. Gladly. Alright, bit bit more formidable. Is that the one you were talking about? Or is he not formidable enough? No. No, he's not formidable enough. Okie dokie. Moving on. Trying to find Caslo. Picked up. Another energy shard. Hmm. Hmm. I know that there was a spot that I kind of missed at the beginning, but... Oh. You've really done some work, Kazlo, haven't you? Let's talk. I found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. Oh, there's gonna be... Quest options? No, just sport me or leave. Well, I want him to sport me. Use some help. Here, yeah, this might be useful. And he spits on me. What might be? What might be useful? Seriously, what did what did you do for me? These things keep coming. We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire. Oh, I cancelled it. Kind of reminds me of Diablo a little bit. Like the cathedral in New Tristram. What did you give me to help? I would really like to know. This is probably a good thing. Nothing I should worry about. See? This... This might be a formidable enemy. I could be wrong. But I kind of think maybe this is the formidable enemy with really, really sick armor. <clears throat> Whoa, maybe I shouldn't block, okay. First Warden. I probably need to stick close, my guess, because 
Whoa, I use daggers. Not exactly known for the range. Oh, jeez. That was a bad roll. Oh, you know what? Did the guy give me... I think the guy might have given me some health potions. Wow, that combo. Wombo combo. Okay. Let me, uh... Let me die. Phew. Glad my strategy worked. Okay, so what does this look like when you die? I'm not far away. And... Okay, so it's almost like a fog gate. And the boss is over there. And is there... Let me see, can I get to where I died? Is this something? Is this like a blood stain? Yes, it is. Okay, so you get your experience back, just like you get your souls back. Ugh. Gotta get these timings down. Whoa. I He attacks very quickly sometimes. No stamina. Almost down to that first thing. That combo is brutal. Alright, let's heal. Oh, good. What? Oh, did his armor break? Yeah, it did. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me relax. Got some new moves, huh? I wonder if there's durability on equipment, because I've been hitting his shield. Ooh, okay, so he's like the Smelter Demon now. Ooh, okay, yeah, don't roll into that anymore. Let's bait an attack, if you don't mind. Yikes. Okay, good. Shield bash. Ugh. One, one HP is what that's taking off when I hit his shield. Versus 10 and 11 when, uh... Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh. Ooh. Yeah! Which means you should take more damage. At least that's what logic would dictate. Oh, wow. Okay, so there seems to be a system in place, and I thought I saw this in the preview, where if you land successful blows in some sort of pattern, or it might be timing, you do significantly more damage. Okay. Nope, no wombo combo. Give me something I can work with. Or at least block. Like that. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, significant more damage. Oh, now I feel like he's really dangerous because he doesn't have a shield and he's just, wow, really mad. Okay, well, good. Glad you stopped that. Now that that's out of your system. Oh, oh, it's not out of his system. It's very much in his system. Want to back up and heal. Except I can't pass up an opportunity to attack when he does that. What are you doing? Oh, no. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Roll another time. Okay. Woo. -hoo. It doesn't seem to be any sort of penalty for burning all of your stamina, which is nice. Okay. You're done. You're done. Okay, not a flawless fight. But not terrible. Well, now what? Being pelted by Mario's fireball attack. First Warden, defeated. What was that? One of those lords Kazlo keeps talking about. And we picked up a great sword. Good, glad I chose daggers. And a sealed rune big. Cool. Anything else to explore? Doesn't really look like it. So now there's this thing that's appeared. That looks important. The experience you earned for defeating the enemy remains with you until you decide to store it or die. The more you carry, the higher rewards drop from fallen foes. Ooh. Hmm. Still, if you don't want to lose what you currently have, bank it in the save shards like this one. It prevents a loss upon death, but also resets your drop rate modifier, so it's a trade-off. Storing the experience at save shards gets you attribute and spill points. Hmm. <clears throat> spell points. Hold either LT to store experience toward spells or RT to store it towards attributes. You can do it by opening the character development screen when close to a safe shard. Press B if you don't want to bank your experience now. Otherwise, press something to try it out. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what that button is. Okay, so I've activated a checkpoint. What is character development? There it is. Alright, so we have... Let's take a look. There's my general stats. There's my magic. I guess these are the three different types of magic. And there's my attributes. So I can bank my experience for spell points or bank my experience for AP. I really should bank because I understand that you get better drops, but right now I need to learn I need to learn this uh, game a little bit before I start going on long ventures without storing. I also have all of these weapons. How do I... Okay. But I want to stick with light-handed stuff. But I do have steel daggers. They're the same. Marger. They're the same, but they look cooler. So we'll probably go with those because they look cool. Consume less energy when dual wielded. That's kind of neat. Look at that greatsword, though. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And it even has a socket. Cool. Strength requirement is 15. Uh, we're going to stick with daggers for now. Courage, heavy armor. Why am I wearing heavy armor? I mean, it has more defense, but why am I... Okay, I'm assuming we're going to learn more about runes later. Oh, wait, I wanted to store... Let's go ahead and store towards... Let's use spell points, because I want to unlock some magic. How much experience do I have? One spell point, and then, oh, we can get one of each. Okay, cool. And now what? Oh, so now I can level it because I have an attribute point. Okay. So we have strength, uh, maximum equipment burden, affects not only damage dealt with strength based weapon, but also slightly increases your ability to carry heavier gear. Vitality is your health. Faith is the amount of magic. Endurance, the amount of energy you have, which is always going to be good. Agility. 
Uh, boosted damage. This is like dexterity. Damage dealt with fast weapons also gives you slightly increase in energy. I'm probably going to go with that. Luck. You'll need more luck to get better rewards for killing opponents, but it also helps you get better crafting materials. Let's focus on agility a little bit, but then we're probably going to dump some points into luck, because I do like that. Okay. Oh, but that didn't save. No, it didn't. Alright. How do I save? Accept. There we go. And then magic. Now, why are all three magics available if I chose brawling? Kind of doesn't make sense why I would have to actually choose one at the beginning, but oh well. Let's take a look. What is my faith, actually? My faith's at 8. Okay, so I can do these basic ones. Well, I can do the basic one. Motionless clone that attracts enemy attention to give Harkin advantage. Over time, will also restore some of your health. Okay. Done. Spells are very powerful. They can give you a great advantage. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Okay, cast spells by holding B. When you have more than one spell, you can cycle them by clicking B. Okay. Let's go back to where Kalso or Kazlo was, because I wanted to see what's down. Oh, we had a big dude. Whoa. I would actually like... You know, let's try... Let's try dual wield. I'll just have to dodge a lot more. That didn't do much damage. That was a heavy attack. Here's a backstab with duel. Any different? No, not really. Not really. That's okay. Ooh, it got a great axe. Marauder great axe, to be precise. Whoa! Easy there, pal. Wow, okay, you can tear through him dual wielding. Did you drop anything? You didn't drop anything. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. <laughs> Never mind. Let's this is where I didn't go earlier, but it wouldn't have done me any good because the door was locked anyway. So back to Kazlo. Get the drop on this guy. I like the shanking. Okay, so this is basically up in the top right telling me again that I can either risk the greater rewards by just continuing on without dying and without saving, or I can be Soon safe. After banishing the god, the three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. Can I sneak up on this guy? I should have been able to! So, so far, one of the things, there we go, there's the back step. One of the things I can say is that the camera work needs a little, a little finesse. It's, it's a bit jarring when we're in these close quarters, and it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to actually kind of pinpoint your position. What exactly were the lords? They wielded power Probably gonna try some magic here. They fought fiercely, and they blindly followed the god. Anyone who tried to talk to them, reason with them, failed. Lords kind of a more cinematic view. Let's try magic. To lead the Rogar army against the humans. That was nice and all, except uh, I couldn't see because of my clone. I couldn't see a darn thing. Ooh, got some cleric armor. Probably won't use that. Take a quick look at it though. Cleric is medium armor. It's a lot lot why am I wearing heavy armor? Let's let's go to rogue. I mean let's if we're gonna do this, let's 
Let's do it right. Okay. Rogue seems to be naked. I don't understand this. Or was I wearing? Was I wearing Rogue and I'm just being silly? I am. I'm... You guys can forget that I've ever played a video game, right? Any... Okay, no trinkets. Let's leave! The wall gates. Okay, a few enemies here. This one isn't paying attention to me just yet. I think this is actually going to be a good place to actually uh, call it quits for now. This is the first episode of what will be a full playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the gameplay, leave me a comment below. I'll uh, I'll respond to it as soon as I can. But otherwise, so far, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's a good game. It has some polish that maybe could come in time in future patches. But you know what? We saw that in Dark Souls, and we see that in a lot of games nowadays. It's a sad reality, but it's the reality we live in. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will catch up with you next time.